Well, uh, this solder was first monitored um, near Tofino uh, about a week ago. On Friday, which is now about three days ago, uh, we were given the go-ahead by the Department of Fisheries and Oceans to try and get him because he was obviously not acting quite right. He was very approachable, very lethargic and very shallow water. Uh, there was a noticeable wound on his flipper. So uh, we did go ahead uh, and, and did get him Friday night. Uh, he was brought into the facility very early Saturday morning. It was quite a long transport for him. Um, quite obviously, he's got very severe visual deficits. He has uh, some mentation deficits, so he's very dull, kind of unaware of his surroundings. Uh, obviously, you shouldn't be able to approach a, a normal wild male sea otter. You shouldn't be able to touch a wild male sea otter, but he, he doesn't seem completely aware of his surroundings. Uh, quite obviously, a, a pretty severe fracture of his uh, right hind flipper, affecting at least two of the digits there. Another wound on his left uh, hind flipper. Then uh, today, uh, being Monday, after a, a couple of days of stabilization fluids, antibiotics, um, pain medications, we did go ahead and do quite a lengthy procedure on him. He uh, was anesthetized, uh, had a lot more blood taken for different types of analyses. He had uh, x-rays performed, he had ultrasound performed. We did amputate one digit on his hind flipper and then went ahead and tried and uh, close that wound. We flushed his other wounds out. We took urine samples, stomach samples, uh, all sort of in trying to figure out what's going on with him. The most obvious lesion so far uh, is a number of birdshot pellets scattered throughout his body, around his head, uh, around his front flippers, even in, in his tail and his hind flippers. So it certainly looks like someone took at least uh, one or two shots at, with a shotgun at him. That's probably why he's blind. A uh, closer look of his eyes looks like one globe, one of his eyeballs has, has completely uh, shrunken down, has collapsed on itself, probably from the result of a shotgun wound. His other eye has at least a, a pretty severe corneal infection. We'll try and see wh what happens there over time. He's got um, quite a lot of necrosis and, uh, associated with the fractures. Uh, his blood work indicates quite uh, an anemia, so he's lost some blood and obviously very, very weak. So. The game plan for the next few days is pain meds, continue the antibiotics, try and get a lot of food into him, and uh, see if we can turn him around. Uh, but he has a long way to go, and I'm very, very concerned about him.